Hey guys, welcome. I'm Andrea and today we're gonna do a favorites uh, type of video. So I'm gonna do full face of favorites. Um, they're not just necessarily new or old, they're just my all time favorites that I'm reaching for like in an everyday basis or whenever I do my makeup. Um, and I also want it to go quick, easy, fast, and then last on my skin. So I already have my sunscreen on. I used this Madagascar Centella uh, from Skin1004 and it's been soaking in for at least a half an hour. Such is life. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna start with my um, foundation and I usually reach for this one. It's the Unnatural uh, Semi Matte Powder Foundation and it's in Honey. It's yellow based. My skin is yellow based even though it looks a little red because I have redness in my skin. So I uh, pretty much just open it. Um, it's got a mesh top or whatever separator. Keeps it in there better. And then I just uh, pretty much load my brush in and get to it. I usually start in the middle because that's where my redness is the most. I need to load it nice because obviously I didn't put enough in there. Now this foundation is my favorite because it lasts so good on my skin. And it also looks great whether my skin is dry, whether I have flaky skin or uh, whether I am um, oily or whatever. Um, I have oily T-zone, so it really works on keeping the oils at bay the best um, out of all of my powder foundations. And it's also really good for under the eyes. When I use a powder foundation, I do not use concealer like wet or any either I just use this one as a concealer I do pinch the brush to kind of get into the shape of the eye that I need underneath there and then on top and also this acts like my primer all right now if you just want to go in the places that you need it that's fine but like I said it really keeps the oils at bay so wherever you know that uh, your skin produces oils definitely put it there all right um i think i'm gonna be done with this maybe a little bit more under the eyes Let's see. My A-line skirt, skirt, it's still showing. So maybe I'll just go there just a tiny bit. I did a little more. And then I just like to go right underneath my um, chin and jawline just to kind of have a, a more of an easier transition and not just be my face something and then my neck something else. Um, and that's it for the foundation. I think it looks really nice. It always does. It just it blends in so fast and easy and nice and it just... Um, it really makes your face look nice. For the next step, uh, sometimes I do use a contour and sometimes I just use a bronzer. Um, but these bronzer and contour are just amazing. They're very buttery and they're very easy to work with. So I like them because um, sometimes I can be heavy handed and it just looks to be too much. But these ones, um, it, they really blend in nicely. So I'm just gonna go in the bronzer here. Um, I have these um, foam this physical beauty um brush it's a double ended so i like the ease of use so uh, I, I reach for this one a lot 
If you brought in too much onto your brush, if you load it too much, just kind of disperse it where you need it and then just go to it and blend it. That way um, you don't have to worry about too much in one place. A little bit under there. Now there you could go with the contour if you wanted to take the time and do it. Most of the times I don't, but sometimes I do. I just, uh, I like to um, usually go fast. And then I'm just gonna go in the contour here and then just go a little bit on my nose. Just, uh, just for some definition, not necessarily because I wanna change the shape. Now these up here at the top, yes, that's why I do it. But this is just for some definition. Since you have like more definition around the edges, you definitely want to bring it on too so you don't look blank on the middle of your face, really. That's just mainly why I do it. I also like to go underneath my lip with the contour. You can use a bronzer if it's not shimmery and kind of more on the cooler side. It creates a, a shade so it looks like it's bigger, more of a pout. Now, if you have luscious lips, you probably don't need these, but I need it. Okay, and then for the um, blush, my favorite, and it's been for a while, it's this one for, from uh, Found. I have other ones that I like, but like I reach for this one a lot, even though it's broken, because it's so, easy to use like the other ones and it just gives it such a nice look on the skin um and i use the other um side of the fit glow that's really have kickback but i do i'm used to just tapping it so i'll tap it and i just use it right at the corner of my eye and then just go up on it and then just bring up a bit not a lot kind of like a c um, but you definitely want to make sure that most of the product has been dispersed or laid out on the cheek side and then just go up a bit. All it does is just brings all of the colors together and makes it look really nice. Now, if you like to do a different shape of the um, blush, that's fine too. There's the W where you go um, like down, up, and then down, up to where it's like, like a sunburn. I really don't care for that, so I don't do it, but I know plenty do, so if that's yours, then do it. And then I, there's also like, like right here in the, um, like the blushing type, like when you're young and you're just blushing naturally, that's where usually people do kind of like in the middle. So there's that too, but I prefer the C, really. And how much you put, that's just up to you. It's definitely preference. So that was nice and easy. And now the next thing that I like to do is um, if you're gonna do um, highlight, now this is probably the time to do it. And my favorite is this RMS from um, RMS Beauty. It's RMS Beauty in Grand Dame. And I like to take the same uh, brush that I use for my uh, blush. And I just uh, dip it in the with the tips and just go right at the top of the blush where I put it if you need some. Uh, you can make this one really strong or you can make it very little. So it depends on how you like it. That's how you should wear it. And then I also like to take my finger and then just put it on my cupid bow, just for luminosity and kind of make my lips look just a tiny bit bigger. Just uh, because whatever you uh, have lighter kind of, um, uh, not perceives, um, jumps forward at you just and then a little bit here and a little bit here just for some same thing just kind of coming forward all right now um, I probably would be going with my eyebrows so let's do eyebrows I always kind of clean up whatever because sometimes there's powder there or uh, like sunscreen if you um, didn't clean up really well so, and then I like to brush them, of course, to see what we're working with. And then my favorite one is, right now, is from uh, Etude House. It's a drawing eyebrow. Um, I like it because it's, again, use. It's ease of use. Um, it's got a spoolie on the side. I don't have to, you know, look for a different one. I can just flip it back and forth. And then um, it's just this mechanical pencil. And you just, you know, pretty much roll it up and then it's ready to go. And it's always skinny. You don't have to sharpen or anything. Um, this is all I have left though. So uh, 
quite a little bit left, but I've used it for so long, so I'm, um, I'm not mad at it. So I just like to fill in. Sometimes it gets to be more snatched than others. <laughs> Sometimes I go a little, a little more than others. And um, it cleans up really easily. So um, if, if you make a mistake like I just did, it's easy to wipe. Another thing why I like it is, um, it, it's not waterproof, but it lasts really good in humidity and heat. And it, yeah, I put it in in the morning and by the end of the day, it's still there. So it's really easy and it's very affordable. See what I'm talking about flipping it in and out? Cause I mean, back and forth, cause I really, I keep playing with it until I get the shape that I want. And I like to brush through so that um, it softens it up, softens the look. I have like not much up here. So I always wanna kind of draw a nice soft line to look like it's part of it. And the color is uh, gray brown, brown gray. It matches with my um, hair or it emphasizes it nicely. And then to keep them in place, because this one is not, it's just a coloring pretty much. I, I use this uh, Kosas. This is my favorite for the moment. The Airbrow, it's just clear gel. It literally just keeps them in place. It's not a scrunchy look though. So if you want like a really uh, hard shell, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> the dog is a sensation right now. We have our friend's dog over because the girls, we lost our dog last September and the girls have been wanting a dog and I'm just not ready. So we just borrowed our friend's dog for like four days now. So they're having a blast. So you're gonna hear them behind the door. But yeah, this is what it does. It's not really, like I said, it's not crunchy or uh, not anything. It's just, it's just holds it nicely and it lasts throughout the day. So um, yeah, you put it there, it's, it's gonna be there. Now um, let's talk about eyes. For eyes, I just couldn't decide. I have two of them that I like, but first I'm just gonna talk about these. Um, it's just a beige um, nude liner. Do you need to come in? Come on in, quick. So as far as eyeshadows go, I couldn't decide. <laughs> I have two of them that I really like and I, I go back and forth and depends on what I'm doing too. So if I'm just doing one eyeshadow uh, look, then I'll just go for these Ilia, uh, mainly for this brown one. And then um, I also like the, um, the one up here. It's kind of shimmery and um, kind of coppery but on a cooler tone. And then I also, um, this one is one of my go-to as well. It's the Aether Beauty in, Beauty in uh, Rose Quartz. Um, and my favorite ones are the ones that I've used the most is this one, the shimmery one. And then this one, I do like um, a shimmer. So um, that's why this one actually, it's more than the other one. But if I use this one and I have a highlighter, then I'll use the highlighter um, in concussion with this and um, com in combination <laughs> and uh, that does it too. So I'm um, just gonna use this one today. I just decided that now, <laughs> just so you know, I didn't know which one I was gonna use. So I'm gonna um, use it with these um, BK Beauty with um, Angie Hutton Flashy A502. And I'm just gonna go in this one here for the, um, uh, not the crease, but the um, transition shade. Yeah, the crease, I guess, because it's still, it's the same thing. Um, can we, can we can we see these? It's definitely settled. So you definitely want to wipe off before you start. Um, otherwise, you're just um, it's not good. You're setting in uh, creases, and you also just um, go with color, and it's not gonna go good because it's damp and they're moist. So, anyways, transition shade. Um, most of the times I don't do these, but um, I'll do it today. This just uh, helps to have the other shades really blend nicely on top of it and with it, with each other too. So, all right. Then I'm gonna take um, this darker shade here. 
Where's it? Right here. And then, um, then for the highlight, I'll just take this one. Just showing you now, because it's kind of hard to hold it. It has no mirror, so I have to use a different mirror. Always tap your brush because it's definitely um, this kickback. Now this shade um, leans purple and I really like it with my green eyes. It really is a good um, combination. It makes it look really nice. I also put it on underneath on my lower lash line. And somebody's reading here next to me for 30 minutes a day. So um, you're going to hear some <laughs> flipping of the pages. Little Alyssa. I'm sharing her room. I share her room with, with she shares her room with me, I should say. <sighs> do what you got to do, right? Make sure you're matching both eyes before you move on to the next um, step. And you can clean up at the end or you can clean up as you go. I like to um, kind of go in um, slant diagonal. All right. And uh, I don't know if I, you saw, but I'm going like windshield motion and then kind of focusing on the end of it too. Um, just kind of keep it in there for a darker, more defined look at the end of it, makes it look really nice. And then I'm gonna take that lighter shimmer shade and I'm just gonna go all over the lid where I didn't put it. Actually, I'm gonna go neat with the one up here, but I'm just holding it in the uh, mobile lid though. I'm not going up high. You always wanna keep the shimmer ones um, and the mobile lid only. And this is a really punchy color. So you can make it really uh, punchy if you want to, or just, you know, moderate. I do like to put it on the inner corner as well, on a tear duct. And I do drag it out, or I should say, I bring it out kind of to meet with the three quarters of my um, other shade that I put on there, what I used on the normal. Once you're satisfied with that, you can move on. Now, um, you can either use a highlight, the highlight that you use for your face, or you can use this shade, the, the highlighting one, and just go underneath your eyebrow, just a tiny bit, just to bring some luminosity in there. You definitely do not want to streak though. So if your highlight is really strong, I suggest you just go with your uh, um, finger and kind of um, tap it down or take off some of that uh, excess just to make it look soft and nice. So that's about it with that. Now we're gonna move on. I like to line my um, eyes with a pencil or with the same sh uh, shade that I did in my uh, crease because um, it's a darker shade and it really goes nicely. So for lining my eyes, I have two of them. Um, they're a little different though. So I have a, a brown one that I really like. It's from Alima Pure. And then I have uh, the Mulberry from Fit Glow Beauty. This one leans more purplish. So um, if I just am doing like a neutral look and I'll use this one, if I'm going more for purples, I'll use this one. Um, so I'll just use, should we use this one? Both of them are really nice. Um, I'll put a swatch here for you. This is the Mulberry. And this is the Lima Pure Brown. I think it's in chocolate or is it in coffee? One of them, coffee. Both of, both of them are favorites, coffee and chocolate. So you can tell this one is a little more purpley and this one is just a brown. I'll smush this one on this side. You can maybe tell. Um, they both last pretty much the same. Um, it's not really, really purpley. I mean, I actually was expecting it to be more purple. It's really not that much. It's just a tiny bit. So what I do with this is I just go like from the middle out. And I just line my eye. Not precisely. I'm not looking for precision here. Uh, I also go underneath my um, eye on my lower lash line one quarter in and then coming from down up 
just extend that little line. I have hooded eyes, so I kind of have to be careful because sometimes it can be looking not very nice. And then I'll just, I just smudge it before I move on. I'm gonna smudge it because I do not want precision. All I want is a little darker definition there. And I just want it to be um, more defined. Also, I don't like this one to be precise either. So I kind of gently take care of it. So you can tell that there is a difference. Go as much or as little as you're comfortable with. There is no right or wrong way, really. It's just your way. You just got to be okay with that. Definitely want to make sure that they match always with anything that you do. All right, now, um, the other thing that I actually like to do is, and I think it really does make a dip, dip. Another thing that I like to do, and I think that it really makes a big difference, is a nude eyeliner uh, for the waterline. So I have this one from uh, Fit Glow Beauty, and uh, I really like it. It's definitely natural, more natural um, ingredients, and since I'm putting it on my lower uh, waterline, I definitely want to have something that's really not causing my eyes stuff. Definitely want to clean it up after so that you can start new. So just kind of roll it on your hand, right? Like this, what I did here, just to kind of clean up that um, whatever you may have, or also because you're gonna go in again next time. You don't want that tear and whatever to be introduced in after it's been sitting there on your pencil. So anyways, and then for the um, mascara, for the mascara, uh, lately, I mean, I've had my favorite share of um, Big Papa Wet n Wild, but uh, I've been trying some new ones and I've really been liking this Ilia. Uh, it's their fullest volumizing mascara, really nice. Uh, it lasts good on the lashes and it really makes it look, makes your lashes look nice. Kind of like the other one from um, Wet, one, Wet and Wild, the Big Papa. It really makes a big difference, lashes on your, um, on your lashes, on your look all throughout. I do like to go ahead and kind of separate them and pick up whatever is extra there with uh, a clean uh, spoolie. And that also depends on what your liking is. If you like a more clump together, if you like the more um, spread, more spidery or whatever it is that you like. I'm gonna let it be right now and go on to the next one. But look how much of a difference lashes do. It's like it completes the look. 
it doesn't seem like it is the same when you don't put um, lashes on or mascara not lashes necessarily I'm really not I'm not a fan of fake lashes it, it's more convenience than anything and the fear that is gonna that was a loose one um, the fear that it's, they're gonna come off or they're gonna look awful or whatever I'd rather just use mascara plus a lot of times when uh, girls use it they still use mascara on top so it's like why even take the time and the energy to put them on oops if you're gonna anyways put mascara on and um, go through that so it's like, mm, no they're just not for me well maybe because I also kind of prefer the more natural look or approach to makeup Now those one look much nicer than this ones. Must have lost some lashes on that right side. They're not laying properly. I think I'm gonna go back and kind of fix some of them here. Gonna add a little more. Just to make it match. I think it's better yeah and then to clean up I use a q-tip I have to take the fuzz off because it's kind of used so to renew some fuzz and also make sure that you're um, spinning it so that you can get the fuzzes out so let's get these out of here For the lips, I have a couple of things that I like to do. So most of the times I will just have a clear, um, there we go, a clear um, mask on. And usually this is my, well not usually, but this is my favorite. Uh, it's from Clavu. It's called uh, Nourishing Care Lip Slipping Pack. Um, it's clear. It's clear, but it's got like a shine to it. So I usually have that one. So when I go out of the house, um, I literally just tap a whatever, but these are my favorites now. I don't have many to start with, but from the ones that I have, the vapor ones are really my favorite, um, especially this one in Intuition. I have a Thirst too, or Thrist, Trist, and that's more like reddish, which I like too, but this is more like a cooler brown. And I literally just tap it on top of the, um, um, Clavu for just some color. And that's about it. Now, another thing that I like to do, especially, uh, and this is only for when I'm at home, uh, when I leave the house. So for on the road, I definitely do not take these with me. I'll have one of these. It's my favorites. So this is, um, right now my favorite color because it's summer and it's like really nice outside and of course the coloring changes your face too and whatever you're wearing it changes but the uh the formulation is the same of course throughout uh with probably slight variations from the coloring and such but um buff is definitely one of their best sold shades uh, because it goes good with so many people and so many um, uh, colors and so many things. So um, I'm gonna just kind of gently wipe this off and then I'll show you what this one looks like. It's more of um, your lips, but better kind of color. Okay, let's just do this. That was just my powder brush. And I'll just put this one on to kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, so when I'm on the road, I literally just keep this one in the car or I'll stick it in my pocket, whatever it is that I'm carrying with. And I just, you know, apply it without a mirror, without anything. I really don't need a mirror. I just 
if if I feel like I went above, I'll just take my finger and kind of wipe up a bit. But you really don't need a mirror. You really don't need anything. You just apply it and it's just so nice. It's, it's got a nice color to it. It gives you a little bit of color, but it's so comfortable on the lips. And as I have like really dry lips, this really does wonders to my lips. So this is my go-to really. Um, there's different colors that I uh, use from Fit Glow, but the buff one is right now um, what I'm reaching for. And actually the girls use it too. So I'll have it on and me and then they're like, can I use some lip stuff? Do you have one? They'll ask before we leave. So to make sure that they have something to put on too, because you know, they like that stuff too. And not just they like it, but you know, their lips are getting dry too. So yeah, and this is it. It's just a, a quick, I know a lot of talk makes it longer, but uh, thanks for sitting here around me. Sorry, got a hair, tickled me. Uh, so thanks for sitting here with me. And if you wanna do your makeup with me, um, take your stuff with and just do it with me. Do your favorites. Actually, I'm curious to know what are your favorites? What are your, your top picks? Like when you're, you want to do your makeup and you're like, okay, I want this one, this one, this one, and this one, because this is what makes me feel good. And this is what wears nice or whatever the case is. Uh, what are your favorites? Let me know down below and we can chat in the comments down below. So up until I see you guys next time, you guys take care. Bye. Here are some swatches of the eyeshadow that I used. I forgot to put them in, so I'll put them in right now. Um, this is the one that I used as... Um, what do you call it? crease this is the one that i used as a definer and this is the one that i used as um the highlighting shade i'm gonna i'll give you a little more of the first one because it doesn't really seem like you can see it properly maybe you see better now you can't really see it because it's kind of like my skin tone also this is the lipstick that I was talking about, uh, Vapor in Intuition. And then as far as Fit Glow uh, Buff, this is Fit Glow Buff. <laughs> kind of the same type of color. I, uh, I really go for this type of colors. Uh, Fit Glow has stuff that are more opaque or less opaque. This is more opaque. And then this is the lipstick never really wear it full blown the lipstick so that's why kind of I'm smudging it so you can kind of see how it kind of looks smudged as well not just um, as a streak and then also the blush that I use today um, I'm gonna give you a little swatch because I forgot to do that I'll put it here it's a pink, this is a big swatch. I mean, it's a heavy swatch. It's a pinky, it's got luminosity to it throughout and uh, it really smooths out really, really nicely. We see how it blends in there. And then also for um, the bronzer and the contour that I used. Here we go, hold on. All right, here goes the bronzer. And here goes the contour. Oh, I'll get a little more swatch for the contour. There we go. Look how nice this blend, you guys. They're so soft and buttery. Like it really blends nicely. What else? Oh yeah, let's do the All Natural um, foundation. Cause I did not give you a swatch of that. But let's see, here we go. Uh, hope you can see this. Kind of hard to see i know especially because it's i am getting a little tan on my <laughs> on my um skin i'll put it up here too maybe you'll see better here i don't think so i'm not sure if you can see but these are the swatches yeah um yeah guys and then also the um the highlighter i forgot to give you a swatch of the highlighter here goes the highlighter i'll put it right up here do this i'll do a really heavy swatch so that you can actually tell there we go you can see that from the sky 
if you really build it up. Now you can also just tone it down. You don't have to build it all up, but it's all up to you, you know. Pre preference is key here. But anyways, guys, thank you. Bye.